Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to the prep for our engagement photo shoot. It is on Thursday. I'm so excited. I'm thinking I'm going to make that its own totally separate vlog um, because I don't know like when I'm going to upload that. So if it's like a little delayed, you know, and I've been like getting clips for it, like of me trying on my dress and opening it and trying it on and all that stuff. So I think that's going to be like its own thing. It's going to be so fun. We're doing a little staycation with it too. So I'm going to like document all of it as much as I can, obviously, because we're going to be taking pictures and stuff, but I'm so excited for it um so today starts that prep we're getting our nails done i'm getting a manicure and a pedicure I haven't gotten a pedicure in so long i usually do it myself because i'm weird with people touching my feet i don't like it <laughs> we're gonna treat ourselves and do it today and get the whole shebang i'll get like a spa one you know where they like do all the good stuff so yeah grow up Alyssa and go get a pedicure so we're gonna do that that is at 11 30 it is currently like 8 45 a.m we did like our little morning routine and now we are in workout clothes we're looking really pale because tomorrow's our spray tan so today we need to exfoliate all of the extra tanner off but first okay one thing at a time Alyssa first workout then we're recording the podcast then we're gonna go get our nails done and then we're gonna come home and exfoliate and I have so much like computery phone work to do. Um, Instagram was like glitching for me yesterday. It wasn't letting me post stories and nothing was loading. So I have so much to catch up on. Cause if you watched the last vlog, we had a very eventful weekend. We painted the basement. I built chairs for outside. There's a lot to do. So, um, and then I also want to prep tomorrow's vlog. Lots going on. Let's get it started with a workout, which is perfect because I just went on there and my coach on Copilot actually refreshed my workout. So it's a fresh one today. So I'm so excited. Um, I actually wasn't even going to vlog today. I was going to pick it up tomorrow, but I'm like, no, let's, let's start the prep week. You know, like this is part of it, getting our nails done and stuff and exfoliating, whatever. So, um, I just opened up the app and my workout starts with a 10 minute bike ride, which is literally amazing because I need to do things on my phone. So. Let's get two things done at once. Start with a 10 minute bike ride and get this leg day in. We are back from the nail salon. I got that same chrome. It was like a similar color because last time I did dip gel and this was like a paint on gel, but similar color. So like a nudie pinky base with some white chrome on top. This is for our engagement shoe. And I also got a beautiful pedicure. I ended up treating myself. I said, oh, just a basic like gel pedicure. And then I was looking up at the signs and I'm like, ooh, that lemon spa one sounds so good. <laughs> so I ended up doing that and it was so 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 nice it included a 15 minute massage this stuff that they like wrap your legs in and hot stones it was like a hot towel oh so nice so back from that and now i just made myself food i have some leftover crib burgers from last night that i'm gonna eat along with my salad i made like another like burger kind of salad and i have so much computer work to do so that's gonna be my monday and then also in a little bit i'm gonna hop in the shower and exfoliate and get ready for my spray tan tomorrow but i'm not worried about that right this second first i need to get some computer things done and that's it that's my update i'm hungry so i'll update you when i update you oh also totally forgot to update you guys i finished this book this morning before i even started my day it was a repeat of the storyline of the first book in the series which is not my favorite it's just from a different perspective so first book was her perspective second book was his perspective i enjoyed like the end of it because it got into like a new part of the story so overall it was like enjoyable but not my favorite in the whole world but now i'm on to the third book which is like teeny tiny tiny i have it on my kindle i was reading it at the nail salon today actually which was really nice. So that will be finished like by tomorrow because I don't think I'm gonna have that much time to read today, but there are three more books in the series and two of them are like little mini, I think they're called novellas, no novellas, yeah. Overall good, but 
I would prefer if the storyline just continued and then like integrated into that new storyline like what he knew that we didn't know. Do you know what I mean? Does that make sense? Kind of, not really. Regardless, I think it takes an extreme amount of talent to even write two books in two different perspectives and make it all make sense and cohesive and mesh together. So props to her for doing that. I think it's just not my personal style, you know? Alrighty, just got in some walking and some editing on tomorrow's vlog. For dinner, we're making our favorite, hello, throwing it around. We're making our favorite Hello Fresh. This is a new one though, we never tried this. Zucchini and tomato flatbreads, it's got ricotta, and we added chicken breast strips to it. So, Zayn and I are about to tag team. He has to leave for tennis in like 30 minutes, so we're gonna get this done quick. It says prep 10, cook 25, but we can get that done even faster if we work together. Okay, yeah, you can rinse all the, she is wrapped. That looks inappropriate. Wait, but does that mean I don't have to wash it then? <laughs> no, you do. Wait, why? It's I don't know why it's wrapped. I mean, it's clean. No! <laughs> Just give them all a quick rinse. That's so funny. I'll open it for you. Okay, let's make these flatbreads. We're gonna chop off our zucchini, our tomatoes. Half moons. I love chopping zucchini. It is like the most satisfying vegetable to cut. It's so easy. Drizzle on medium? Drizzle on medium high. Hot take. Hot take. I'm gonna go back to the brine. Don't look for the truffle pizza. Oh, the truffle. I know, I know. You can't even lie, that truffle pizza is amazing. I can make it. Do it, I dare you. Ha! <laughs> the chicken is gonna be like an add-on, so make sure we look at the bottom where it says the blue section. It's prep the chicken, it says pat it dry, right? Yeah, in a separate pan. Chicken. Okay, so you can get another pan set up and pat the chicken dry. I gotta be careful, I gotta make these nails last until Thursday at least. I know. Have the tomatoes. I gotta finish those chairs too. Hey, yeah, yeah, I gotta clean the friggin' shit so I can put my cushions in there. Tomatoes are going in a bowl, and we're gonna mince two cloves of garlic. Okay, the garlic is going in with the tomatoes, salt and pepper. We're gonna zest our lemon. Zest the lemon and then we're gonna quarter it. Okay, now zucchini's going in. Zane's gonna do the chicken. It's just oil, salt, and pepper. He patted it dry, salt, and pepper. And that's gonna go on our flatbread. The key is going. Let's make our lemon ricotta. There's eight ounces of it, by the way. We're putting in half the lemon zest. A little drizzle of olive oil, some lemon juice, and salt, and pepper. Yum, that sounds amazing. The simplest little things that I learned from HelloFresh. Like, next time I cook, now I want to put lemon zest in my regatta. Next, we're gonna get our flatbreads. We're gonna save the other ones for lunch tomorrow, but just make them so all I have to do is heat them up. Perfect. Now we're gonna spread on the regatta. Oven is preheated to 450. Oh, these are gonna be so good. Okay. Spread that around. Oh my yum. This was so easy, actually. Stop. Okay, we got the zucchini going on. Tomatoes go on, facing up. And lastly, we got our chicken. Ready for the oven. We're looking good. Set a timer for 10 minutes. Okay, took them out of the oven, topped with some lemon zest, lemon juice, honey, and some red pepper flakes. I'm also gonna do a little bit of fresh salt. Give it a little pinch. I'm so excited for this right now and even more excited for myself tomorrow that I have that as a leftover. Dinner in bed, this is my happy place. I think it's so funny how certain people have different, you know, ways to go about life. Like I know there are people, of course, that were like no eating in the bed or like no eating in the car. And like, this is my happy place to eat right here. Like I can't imagine not eating in bed, but I get it. Like crumbs and stuff like that, but I do not care. I love to be here. I'm gonna read for a little bit while I eat, and then I'm gonna hop in the shower, do my exfoliation, get prepped for my spray tan tomorrow, and I'm gonna call it a night probably and just relax. It's already almost eight o'clock, so that is it. She's done. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. I just had myself a little morning. We just did some pool stuff, cleaned the filters and everything. <clears throat> 
Now I'm out here, I gotta finish building these chairs. We got two more, and I'm gonna be extra, extra careful with my fresh nails. But I just wanna get it done. Today is cardboard night, so it's perfect. I also ordered a new rug and an umbrella base. So I think in the next vlog, you guys will see that all come together, hopefully. The umbrella will be here in a few days. Rug is next week, so super exciting. You guys saw me build the other chairs in the last vlog, so I won't bore you. So imagine we can just go one, two, three, Okay, hopefully that worked. We got them built pretty easy, honestly. I just had to be really careful and we have no casualties. So I'm gonna bring them up. I'm gonna get Zane's help in a little bit to bring down that love seat. That's gonna go down here. These chairs are gonna go on the side of the house behind that gate. We're gonna bring our deck from the apartment eventually and I'll use those chairs over there just for some extra seating, but at least it'll be away from like our main area because these are just <laughs> not the vibe I'm going for, but they're good chairs. So they're gonna go over there. And then I'm also gonna use the rug that's under the table for over there as well. That was the original rug that we had on our deck. So I know it fits there nicely. It looks good. So that with these chairs, it'll probably just be like a little hangout area. I'm thinking like when we have like gatherings or whatever, we can like have that gate stay open. And then like that could just be like another little extra area to hang out at. And then these two chairs right here and that love seat is gonna go by the fire pit. It's gonna look really cute. Beautiful, got that done. I'm happy because today's cardboard so now Zane can take this stuff to the curb okay I brought up all the chairs I feel like the vision is starting to come together are you guys seeing it I have the cushions just sitting up so that they don't get like extra dirty it's not gonna rain but you know bird poop and leaves and stuff I moved that bench and it got like rust on the floor so that's fun but the rug I got is bigger and it's gonna match the chairs a little bit better and then we got a white umbrella I think it's gonna be so pretty I'm trying to trust my vision I think I'm doing pretty good okay we're gonna head inside for a bit now I gotta get some computer work done and then we have a spray tan I'm out here in my pajamas can you guys see me in the reflection and then we have a spray tan at 12 o'clock she's coming to the house so that's easy look it I feel like it's gonna come together really pretty I think it looks good we're getting there. I like the black table contrast too. Are you just having a relaxing day? I'm so happy for you. You too. You enjoying yourself over there? <laughs> okay, everyone, it's spray tan time. Lauren is here. Do you want to be on camera? Yes, no. I just, she's like, put me on. <laughs> You look beautiful. We're doing our spray. We're doing actually the same formula that we did for the engagement shoot party. Yes. Do we want to share? Is it a secret? No. It's, um, we, I really like violet tones on Alyssa, but she also likes a little bit of that like hint of gold too. So I love that you know that and I don't. Violet. No, I know. Violet <laughs> with a drizzle of gold with a little extra violet in there. Oh. And some brown. And extra. Oh drops of tanner yeah because i'm crazy <laughs> because we have to boost it up because my skin is literally a sponge you guys like it just eats up it eats up tan. it just like soaks it all up and even with my mousses though like everything i'm telling you you can i could spray you with like competition spraying like, mm, a little it's light. a little, little light for me yeah <laughs> i'm excited that tan for the engagement party was fat oh, i look I at the pictures. pictures yes like... great tan such a good tan <laughs> Okay, Lauren just left. Here's the tan line. Literally amazing. I'm so excited for this. Look at my babies relaxing. I'm gonna make myself like a frozen breakfast sandwich or something right now because I really need to get to work. So that's gonna be like the rest of my day sitting here. Just kidding. We don't have to have anything frozen because guess what I just remembered I had? <gasps> my leftover flatbread. I'm so excited. This smells amazing. I just air fried it quick. Mm, this is what I look like right now. <laughs> I'm gonna wash my hair tomorrow because for the shoot on Thursday it needs to be like freshly washed and like blow dried So I'm gonna wash it Wednesday night so that Thursday morning when I have my hair and makeup trial It's like fresh, you know cuz I'm, I'm not gonna do it the same day. I just feel like that's way too much I'm definitely kind of like messy headed right now. I have a brand deal due and I have a full video due <laughs> I definitely could have done a little bit better on my timing today. I probably should have gotten my computer work done before I built furniture outside, but I was just excited to finish that up. And it was like nice out, so I just like wanted to do that. I'm pressing for time right now, so I'm like editing so fast. I'm using a pizza cutter. Yesterday I just ate it as a whole, but today I'm gonna use a pizza cutter to make it easier to eat. A little bit of salt, that was a lot, all right. It's unfortunate that our shoot is this week because now it's like spray tan and then I don't want to go in the real sun, but it's going to be so nice out. It would be a great week to just sit outside, but we'll have the whole summer for that. It's just a lot of prep for a photo shoot, you know, like it takes so much prep and it is exhausting. I know that sounds silly, but photo shoots are freaking exhausting. I look nuts. I like waited to get my nails done for so long. I like didn't have tanned in so long. I felt like such a hot mess just because I was like timing everything to work out for the shoot. So I'm just excited for it to finally be here. 
and I'm so excited for my hair and makeup trial. Like, that'll be so nice if I want to, you know, book the people I'm getting the trial with for the actual wedding. That would be a big thing off the list. Okay, goodbye. I have to wash this back now while I eat. Hello. Okay. We are almost done with the vlog. I'm watching it back, but I have to pause for a minute because we have a Botox appointment. The last time I went was in January. So it's been about five, six months now. I'm definitely gonna do my forehead again. And then I'm thinking about doing my masseter muscle again. I just feel like my face looks the best, you know, my forehead isn't even bad. So I don't think we're gonna even need to do that much, but it's definitely worn off. And then right here too, I did. I'm actually going to a new place. The other place is a little bit further so i'm trying to find someone that's a little bit closer so it's not so out of the way and this one has like five stars online and they had an appointment today so i'm like let me get a little snatched up before the photo shoot it won't probably fully kick in by thursday but at least we'll have it done so i'll let you guys know how it goes and i'm gonna have to tell them listen i have a spray tan on so when you alcohol my face to do the injection you're gonna see some spray tan on your uh thing and hopefully i can come home and fix it with some mousse We'll fix it up. I'm a tanner. I can fix it. All right, we did good. The new Botox place was really nice. I loved the girl at the front desk. I loved the girl that did my injections. They were all really kind, really professional. And she was so accommodating for my spray tan. I was like, sorry, I just got a spray tan. And if you wipe my face with the alcohol, like you're gonna see it come off, da da da. She's like, I'll be really careful. And she was really careful. So we did a little bit up here and then in the middle here. And then last time I got my masseter, Botox they did both sides but I was like let's just do the one for now also saves me some money <laughs> and this is like the side that's way bigger you can even see it right now on camera I feel like this side of my face is just asymmetrical I don't do it for TMJ you can get um Botox injections to help like with pain I just do it for the aesthetics of it um I clench my teeth a lot I chew on this side um it just has a bigger muscle than this side so I get injections to make that muscle kind of go down and make my face look a little bit more symmetrical and slim. And I will say when I first get it, it's not like a super dramatic difference. I notice it like when my like five months is up, I'm like, hmm, my face isn't looking as like sleek and nice. And that's when I notice it. I'm like, hmm, I think it's time for some uh, masseter injections. Obviously I don't need it, I just do it just because I want it, just for the looks of it. But if you guys could feel it when I clench my jaw, this side literally feels like a golf ball back here and i just like the way it makes my face look more symmetrical and i just overall feel better with it but like in pictures you're not gonna be like oh what a big difference but for me because i look at myself all the time i'm always filming and editing and taking pictures and all that i like notice the difference after a while i'm like hmm having gotten it since january and i'm noticing that i'm not liking my face as much as i did so it's not necessary but it's just a fun little thing that i do um and I really like the forehead Botox. I just feel like it smooths me out so nice. Makeup goes on so nice. I like it. It's definitely a little treat, but I justify it because if I only go like every five months, it's like twice a year and I like it, so, so it's worth it. Okay, I have to go finish my vlog. Updates, just sat at my computer for a few more hours and I got all my work done pretty much. All the stuff that needs to be done today and then Few little things can roll over until tomorrow but zane and i are heading out for a little bit we're gonna go do a walmart pickup and i have to go to the bank and that's pretty much it just we're gonna go joy ryan in his car for a little bit and then come back make some dinner and i want to finish the book that i'm reading it's like a really short like 150 page book i'm already like more than halfway done and i just want to finish it up so I'm so happy that I got my work done. My vlog is live. Everything worked out well. I was like, <laughs> but it worked out. What's that song? The Nicki Minaj song? What? You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> when people are in a rush. No, I know. <laughs> What a beautiful night for a joyride. I know. I love the smell of outside. Yeah. But I also don't because that means I'm smelling pollen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's been so bad. The smell of fresh flowers is okay. so nice. I know. I look like a crispy chicken nugget and I love it. Such a good tan. We're so fancy in this car. We have a sunroof. Never had that before. No, right? During it's sunset, it's a vibe. Look at that. Camera's not picking it up that well, but oh, there she is. Oh, vibey. Check it out, we got the goodies. Got an umbrella base for outside. It was on sale for 20 bucks and it's so like simple. Love that. Oh, he put it in some bags for us. Weird. All right, show you guys when we get inside what we got. Here, put them in the big bag. Okay. Okay. Can I put the chocolate in there? Do you? <laughs> we, we 
stopped at Costco and he ran in just to get one thing. Who goes to Costco for one thing? He needed his chocolates. I think that's hysterical. Guys, they're so good. Okay, here's what we got from Walmart. We got um, bags to go in our outside garbage because we didn't put one in there the last time and it was really disgusting trying to empty it the other day. So, we needed some bags. Toilet cleaner. Yay. Kettle corn popcorn. I keep my dad stocked. This is for him for when he comes over. This is his little nightly treat. So we got to keep him stocked up. Bonza pasta. Peas. This is like good to have backup, you know? This was uh, when I was checking out, they were like, any of your usuals you want to add on? And I was like, well, I might as well for 80 cents. Got some seasoning restocks. Can of black beans. That was another last minute ad. Some mayo. Scallions. Another last minute ad. Got Zane some nanners. Now, got Zane's chocolate. <laughs> this is from Costco, not Walmart. And what I'm most excited about is hot dogs. I love hot dogs, and I think this is what I'm gonna have for dinner tonight. We're having like a make their own dinner. Zane's gonna have some bonza pasta, and I'm gonna have some hot dogs. Maybe I'll have some pasta on the side. Hot dog, hot, hot dog. dogs, and pasta. And I'm gonna put it on white bread because fire. <laughs> is your water fountain empty? <laughs> you need a refill. That thing is empty. You guys drank that fast. I fill you up, okay? <laughs> Belly needs water. Oh my! Come here! Oh, 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 oh. Mommy oh, just made a mess. Oh my goodness, you guys, I am a happy camper. I've got my Kindle, I've got my dinner. I ended up doing two hot dogs and some pasta. And I'm gonna read, and then I have to hop in the shower and rinse off this tan. And then we're gonna just chill for the rest of the night. It is already nine o'clock. Uh, didn't realize it was that late. So hopefully I can finish this book. We'll see. I should be able to. Cause I'm gonna read while I eat now, and then I'm gonna also read in the shower too. I take it with me in the shower because I'm nuts. <laughs> Wait a minute. I was just like, what am I going to rest my Kindle on to read it while I eat? I forgot I got this contraption. It was right under the bed. It's ridiculous and I love it. Oh, I have to take the case off the Kindle. It doesn't fit like that. Okay. Ha. Check out the setup. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. It's time to do a quick little rinse of this tan. It looks... So good. Give you guys a little tan line before I go in the shower. Look at that. And then it develops within 24 hours after I rinse too. So that's why I did it on Tuesday because our shoot is Thursday. So I wanted to give it time, you know, to develop. I'm very tired, but I'm 80% done with the book. So I think I'm gonna be done with it very quickly. I think it's only like 150 something pages and I'm on 122. So I'll be more than okay. I have all my jewelry clean here. Benji is being obnoxious as always. Let's do a quick rinse. I feel like a jelly donut. <laughs> a crispy chicken nugget with some glaze on top. I just got out of the shower. This tan is literally phenomenal. Oh my God, this is my dream tan. I just put on so much lotion. I am soaked. Like we are staying hydrated. I put on my little nightgown. Oh, I'm about to hop into bed and finish my book. Oh, I love it. I love it because I was waiting so long to get my nails done and have a tan on. I was like timing it all and I feel so refreshed and good now. Ah, the little things in life. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. You guys, this is the best tan Lauren has ever done on me. Like I am obsessed. It's the perfect undertone. It's the perfect darkness. <gasps> it is beautiful. It's gonna look so good. Tomorrow's gonna be nice and sunny. So especially in photography, you get washed out real quick. So this is gonna turn up perfect on camera. Oh my God, I love it. I'm so, so happy. I just got dressed into some Lululemon Align shorts and I'm wearing like the comfiest, softest bra ever because I'm not risking. That's like a natural kind of tan line if you see that. But actually that's kind of like a shadow. There's like a kind of tan line right here, but I'm not risking um, a sports bra rubbing against my skin. That'll scrape your tan right off. So we're being extra careful. Our shoot is tomorrow. We are like almost prepped. Today's the last day we need to pack. We need to do like figure out if we're driving, if we're training. 
we've got lots to do today. So we're going to start the day with a nice arm workout, which is perfect. That's why I don't need to wear anything like super supportive because we're just doing an arm day today. I'm feeling amazing, glowing. It just adds so much confidence to me. We're up nice and early. Let's go take our symbiotic, get this workout in. We've got the podcast at 930. It's not even eight o'clock yet, so we're doing good. This kitchen is also kind of a disaster, so that needs to be tidied up today as well. We have a clean dishwasher that needs to go away. <gasps> Wow, that is brownie points. <laughs> Zane, put it away. Oh my God. Oh my God, that just made my heart so happy. All right, well, we just need to put those clean dishes away and fill the dishwasher. Wow, what a great start to the day. Um, Benji keeps trying to get in this cabinet. He really wants the, the steam, the steamer, like the bamboo steamer. I don't know. Why do you keep going in there? I don't understand. You want to make some steamed buns? Yeah. I also would absolutely love to get lots of editing done on Friday's vlog because we have the shoot tomorrow, we're staying overnight, and then Friday we have to drive home. Not gonna have, and checkout's not until 12, and I know we're not gonna leave until 12. We're gonna take our sweet time. Um, maybe go out to like a little breakfast or something. And then Friday night, we have Zane's little sister's birthday dinner. So I'm like, I'm not gonna have that much time on Friday to edit. I would love to just have it ready. So that's also on the agenda today if we can get to it. I think we can. It's still early in the day. We've got time. Yeah? Also exciting, progress on the fridge. I think I decided which one I want and everything's on Memorial Day sale right now. So we would get a nice juicy discount. So I think I'm gonna order that today and it'll be here next week. I want it so bad. It has like a beverage center. It has like a flex drawer and it is Samsung, but I'll just get like the extra warranty for like five years or whatever. I think it'll be mine. Ah. <sighs> Wow, two for two. Oh my God, a bitch can do anything with a tan, I swear. Alyssa starter pack, just give me a tan and hair extensions. <laughs> a tan and hair extensions, that's all I need. <laughs> I like to try to keep my symbiotic on like an empty, empty stomach, so I don't know if it's just me, but I wait for my cranberry now because I feel like sometimes it messes with stuff. So I keep it out on the counter, so I don't forget to take that one in like an hour or two. Here comes a curious cat. I hear the tippy toes. Can we guess who it is? <laughs> oh, you're here. Thank you for joining. Let's get it. I'm so excited. All right, we got a new workout today. So I'm excited to try it out. Here's like the rundown of it. Here's everything we're gonna be doing. And I'm actually gonna film it for a like real, like a short form video which you guys probably would see because I'm uploading it on YouTube Shorts too, but I'll just include some of that vertical footage instead of filming on both because I need to switch angles and work out and that's just a lot. So here we go, let's work out. <laughs> Hello, hello. I'm checking in. Podcast is done. I've got my to-do list here left on the list. We need to pack for tomorrow. We need to edit Friday's video. We need to pack a Poshmark order. We need to organize our finances. We need to go pick up our dress for tomorrow, which we have to write a check for and bring that with us. And I am ordering a new refrigerator. And that is the plan. First things first, let's get the little things done and out of the way. Let's pack the Poshmark order. And then also once Zane is done teaching his music lesson, we're gonna make hella fresh. We're gonna have it for lunch and for dinner. It's just gonna be like an all day thing. So we're gonna make it now so we don't have to cook later. And since we're going away and we're eating out on Friday too, we don't want it to go bad. So we're gonna cook that as well. We've got lots to do, let's get it going. Printer needs ink. So I got a fresh one right here, let's replace it. So this is how I print things. I keep my printer in here and I just take the two wires. This closet needs to be kind of cleaned out a little bit. And I just hook it up to my laptop and print from here. <laughs> I don't have to have my printer out. I don't have to move it. It's amazing. Poshmark order is done, and guess who just hit order on the fridge? 
We're gonna sell this one because it's in good condition. I just want stainless steel. That's not even my main thing, honestly. I don't even really care that it's black. My main thing is I need a water filler and ice. That's my main thing. And so why not get a nice stainless steel one, you know? Okay, let me put this outside for the mailman to take. And we just got a delivery. I don't know what it is. <gasps> I think it's the outdoor rug. Why is my door closing in on me? <laughs> okay, just kidding. It's not the outdoor rug, but it's the outdoor umbrella, which is just as exciting. But I don't really want to set anything up until I have the rug to lay down because I'm going to have to move everything. So the rug's coming on Monday, and today is what? Wednesday? So I might as well wait. Real quick while I have this out, I posted it on my Instagram story this morning, but I forgot to update you guys. I did finish it. It actually said I was 86% done because there's actually a preview of another book in the back. And this book was only 130 pages. So I read like maybe five more pages after I ended the vlog and I was done. And it was so cute. I loved it. This book is so like heartwarming. It was only 130 pages. It was such a nice quick read and it was just really sweet and I enjoyed it a lot. And now I'm already reading the next one, which is called All Your Perfects. It's actually a book that I started reading and I didn't realize it was kind of part of a series. It could be read alone, but I'm like, if I'm gonna read all her books anyway, I would like to read them in order. So now I'm going back to it. I read like 20 something pages of it before. So now we're back into that, but yeah, really, really cute. I really liked this, but I wouldn't read it if you didn't read the other books because then it, like the characters all mesh together, you know? Anyways, okay, now we are writing the check for my engagement dress for the alterations. I need to go pick that up a little bit later today, around six o'clock, she said. So I'm gonna bring her a check. And then also I've got envelopes here. I need to get the cash prepared for tomorrow's hair and makeup trial. I'm just gonna put it in two envelopes and I'm gonna put hair and makeup so I can put like their tips in each and make sure because I know when I'm there, I'm gonna forget like what's what. It's just easy that way. So went to the bank yesterday, got the cash for that. This is what planning a wedding looks like. Just put all your money in an envelope and say goodbye. <laughs> just kidding. It's all gonna be worth it. Everything's gonna turn out amazing. Okay, my dad wants me to FaceTime him because he's nervous that my fridge isn't gonna fit. I sent him the measurements after I ordered it and he was like, how's that gonna work? You can't cut into the wall. It's not wall, it's cabinet. Hold on, I have to show him. What the hell? <laughs> or nor. Inside of it. Uh, why is it inside? It's kind of weird. But I like it because the outside looks nice and sleek. There's nothing on the outside of it. That's you like? It's like you can hold the button and open just the beverage center and then you can open the whole fridge door too. Um, yeah, it's like separate. You know what I mean? Remember we, we saw this fridge when we looked in person at Home Depot. That's a flat front refrigerator? Yes, and you can customize the colors on the front. Yeah. Remember with all different colors? And you got stainless? Yeah, but if we're feeling frisky, we could make it we could make it orange during October. <laughs> you can buy all the different panels and make it whatever color you want. And now the water line thing, I think that, I don't know if there was actually one in your basement or anything for you, but we'll see. It if said- not, we'll just put it in ourselves. Yeah, it said, we ordered a hose from them and it said it was supposed to come on Friday. It's still not here. Last Friday. To Home Depot? Yes. So I'm, I'm a little scared. Look at him, look at him. Ah. I'm not playing around yet. Wait, hold on. Do the heat monitor thing. Go. Ah, Mr. Heat monitor. Ah, Mr. 101. <laughs> <laughs> His hair. Heat <laughs> monitor. 
That's hysterical. <laughs> It's <laughs> hysterical. Oh my God. I'm trying to see what it says that it includes. Um, I got the $300 coverage. <laughs> 12 inch upgraded braided waterline. 12 inch. 12 inch? What the hell is that? 12 inches. Oh, 12 foot. Is inch the two oh. two marks or foot is the one mark? The feet is one mark. Oh, then it's 12 foot. <laughs> I got the five year protection plan, the 12 foot braided water line. That's what's included with the setup. And then they'll take away the cardboard and everything and they'll bring it in the house. Okay. <sighs> okay. We're back. It's going to fit. Um, okay. Check. What is today? May 24th. 85 beans. I feel so old when I write checks. How do you spell 80? <laughs> E-I? <laughs> I'm so bad at spelling. Yeah. Okay, I was right. Just make sure I was right, because that would be embarrassing. E-I-G-H-T-Y. Zero out of a hundred. Things you don't learn in school, how to write a check. <laughs> okay, my keyboard is dying. Plug that in. Okay, check, checkmate. Actually, I'm just gonna make it out to the order for business. Okay, done. Now we're gonna do the money, honey. Oh, you know what, I'm gonna need change. I can't do all 20s. Actually, I might have some in my wallet. Never have cash, terrible, terrible. I feel so much better than I'm getting things done. Okay, let's see. Oh, I don't think I do. Okay, maybe Zayn has some change. Of course, it's like uneven numbers that I'm giving. Okay, I gotta go find change. Okay, I found 110 in Zane's nightstand. Does anybody else count 500 times? I never deal with cash, but when I do, you bet I'm gonna count it a million times to make sure I'm right. That would be embarrassing. Imagine I like underpaid. Okay, this is makeup. And then I have it all written out. All the money we're spending on everything in my notes. Okay, and then this is gonna be for hair, and I'll have to exchange one of the 20s. And I just need a 10, okay. And if I can't find a 10, she gets an extra $10 and everyone will live. Great. I'm gonna set an alarm on my phone right now so I don't forget to go pick up the dress. Pick up dress, save. Okay, now we're not gonna forget to go pick up the dress. Now we have to make HelloFresh, pack, edit Friday's video, do our finances and it's only 122. We're doing good. Success. My desk is a hot mess right now. Okay, moving right along, getting things done. Here's the HelloFresh meal that we're making. Creamy Dijon dill chicken with roasted potatoes and green beans. Uh -huh. When Zane and I tag team a HelloFresh meal, we make it so nice and quick. And this already seems quick. 10 minute, 30 minute. Okay, done. He's usually on meat and I usually do the sides. Let's chop. You can rinse my stuff. That's usually his job too. <laughs> oh nice, this is gonna be delicious. It's gonna be yummy. It's a classic Zane and Alyssa meal. Chicken, yeah. carb, or yeah. I mean protein, carb, veggie. Yep. Nice. Okay. So I picked it. Olive oil and one salt pepper. Pinch of salt and pepper. A little bit of garlic powder. Okay, oven. All right, chicken's on the skillet, potatoes are in the oven, we're waiting on the green beans. I opens up all stuff. <laughs> great, this is a great idea, right? Lunch and dinner, done. <laughs> That's it. So uh, for a busy day today? Yeah, we've got a lot going on before we leave tomorrow. We're leaving for one night and it feels like, we gotta prepare! <laughs> well, why did we have both such loaded weeks this week? We did, we had we a had lot so going much on. to do. Yeah. And still do, but. And yeah. when we come home on Friday, we have Aaliyah's birthday celebration, so it just feels like a lot at once. Goggles. We gotta get our goggles. <laughs> they don't know that joke. That's okay. That would just be a funny inside of the ministry. Should I know or should we explain? Yeah, explain. The goggles. So when I got LASIK, I was stressed one day and Zane was like, what do you mean? What do you have on your to-do list? Like, what do you got going on? I'm like, oh no, because I was saying about showering. I was like, it's just a process. I'm like, I gotta take off my clothes. I have to put on my goggles. <laughs> He's like, that takes two seconds because I had to wear like swimming goggles when I showered with LASIK. And I'm like, I have to put on the goggles. So now every time we're complaining or like saying we have a lot to do, we're like, we have to put on our goggles. <laughs> 
That is the funniest joke ever and we love it. It's stupid, but we love it. Um, okay, so we're doing good. We can put the green beans in now because I'll probably want them to go longer than they say anyway. Okay. So let's throw those baddies in there. And while everything's cooking now, we're going to load up the dishwasher. I wasn't smart. Baby. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking about you doing it either. I was hoping that I can like get away with it just a little bit. What is this? What? It's a pot holder. <laughs> Not enough coverage for you? Yeah. I don't have mom hands. Yeah, you got to have the mom hands in the mom kitchen. Hands you can just different. just I... dip your hand in the hot oil. Literally. <laughs> okay, we're going to fill up this dishwasher. We want to leave a clean house tomorrow. Let's do it. Want to come home to a clean kitchen. And next week we'll get our new fridge. Are you excited now? It's nice, right? You like it? Did you look at it? Um, I didn't look at it, no. But I'm assuming it's like the ones that you previously showed me. It's all the different drawers and. Yeah. It's stuff. got two different ice cube sizes. I almost got sucked into getting a dishwasher. What? Really? Yeah, because when you like bundle appliances. What's wrong with ours? I was just it's just stainless steel. Just but I'm like, uh, also I'm like, do I want? A, I'm already risking it for the biscuit with a Samsung fridge, so do I want a Samsung dishwasher when dishwashers are already kind of wonky? Well, the thing is, like, I know people don't recommend Samsung, but in my opinion, Samsung is such a big company that yeah, yeah there's what? probably what? some bad experiences that people have. Hey, hey, hey! It's really pouring water. Did it get caught in the hand? I guess that was like a magic trick. It's such a company that it's like, how could it be that bad? Is that what you're saying? No, more so, like, it's such a big company that so many people buy it that surely people have bad experiences. But that's not right. to say that every experience is bad. Right. It's like, when you deal with that many people, yeah. I'm sure there's, like, potential downsides. Like, if you go into the comments on stuff like that, some people are like, I've had my Samsung for years, but it's fine. Our washer and dryers, for example, like, yeah. we've had it for almost a year now. I don't know how long they had it, but it's still working great. Almost a year. Yeah. That's wild. I know. It's fucking crazy. Our anniversary. We should celebrate, right? Okay, yeah, we'll celebrate. Waddle up or JBBQ? Celebration? No, you always go to JBBQ without me. You're going with me. Oh no, I love JBBQ. Definitely our celebration. Yeah, I love that place. I already told you what I want for my birthday, right? A car and Rothmans? No, just Rothmans. Oh, you're over the car because you have your car. Me. Mm. Now I have a fun car. Right. My wish is that you learn how to drive sticks so that we can, I can drive on the oh, way there and then you can drive on the way there. <laughs> we're going to have to take my car. Chicken is done. Now we're making a sauce. Got some water and chicken stock concentrate. That's looking beautiful. When you go like that and it leaves like, you know, an empty space on the pan. Nice thickness on your sauce. Heat is on low. We're adding in our sour cream, some dill, and two packets of Dijon mustard. And I'm going to turn the heat off as well. Whisk that all together. I'm gonna take this off the heat. We're off the heat, now we're adding in two tablespoons of butter. Get that all melted in there. And it also says to add the juices from the chicken that we have resting. I love that, that's a good tip. Add in the resting juices. We've got our plates for right now. We've got our plates for later. I'm gonna set them all up. Our potatoes are still not done, so we're hungry. We're gonna eat our chicken and our green beans now. Green beans. Hey. So drama. All right, then we got our sauce. We made a lot of sauce. I want to dip the potatoes in it. And then we're going to garnish with a little bit of dill. I'm going to save some for the potatoes. How are they doing? Still not done. Okay, we're going to eat. An incomplete dish, but it looks good. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Zane and I are getting hangry, we need to eat. I already packed up my seed for tomorrow. Ahead of the game, so I don't forget. Forks, okay. Will you be joining us? Yeah, she's so happy. Mmm, <laughs> good? Tastes like summer. Mmm. Right? The mustard dill combo reminds me of like uh, a summer barbecue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for someone that's not a fan of mustard, I actually enjoy this. Oh my God, if I go to the restaurant. You'd be happy. You can't go wrong with chicken and a gravy, you know? You just can't. HelloFresh is just never fails. It's so good. It's always so something so different and unique too. Mm-hmm. Oh, the potatoes are gonna be so good in that sauce. Oh yeah. The green beans are good in it. So you like dill? Yeah. Okay. I do. Oh my god, I was so hungry. This is slapping. Look at this, perfect timing. Ready for our second course. <laughs> <laughs> It's 
time to go pick up our dress for tomorrow's photo shoot and cross our fingers that it fits perfectly because we need it for tomorrow. <laughs> Oh my god you guys <laughs> so i go to this small business to get my alterations for like everything i've ever gotten i just always go to her she's always on top of things everything fits like a glove she's just great like this little grandma i love her and today my mom texted me like a few hours ago and she was like did you call and see if your dress was gonna be ready like i'm nervous i feel like it's not gonna be done in time da -da -da. and i was like nah like she's always on top of her stuff like innocent until proven guilty right like she's never made a mistake before like she i told her the time i told her the date like she's got it written down it'll be fine i walk in you guys and i see it hanging my dress for tomorrow and i hand her the slip and she's like reading it she's like oh okay 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 i was like i think it's right there like i saw it hanging so i was like oh perfect it's done it's hanging right there it's good she looks at it and she looks at me and she goes oh i didn't do it yet i was like oh haha -ha. like really you're, you're joking like oh ha 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 she was joking because she knew like i needed it by this date she's like no no like i actually didn't do it <laughs> i was like girlfriend she said when do you need it i said tomorrow <laughs> like tomorrow i need it by tomorrow morning and it needs to fit because i need it to wear it tomorrow but she's like i saw your slip and i had it on this rack and then i moved it to that rack and it's like busy season because i'm like prom and graduations and she's like i've just been like so much i she was just like messy headed and i was like it is okay as long as you can get it to me she's like i'm here until 10 o'clock tonight anyway i'll call you when it's done and you can come get it late tonight or tomorrow morning i was like as long as it's done it's totally fine it happens but i was just like i text my mom i was like oh my god you called it like you i i've never had an issue i was like how did she's like i don't know mother's intuition i just felt like it, it wasn't gonna be ready and it was getting so close to the day that you needed it i was like i don't know i just put my faith in her but it's okay she's gonna she's gonna do it and hopefully it just fits like a glove because now we definitely have no time to fix it at all and it is what it is if it's done later tonight i'll probably send zane out on a joyride to go get it i said i'll send my fiance if it's later if it's tomorrow morning fine my hair and makeup trial isn't until 11 30 so i can come pick it up in the morning no worries i just thought it was really funny that my mom called it i was like what i literally looked at her i was like oh like oh like you're kidding or like you actually didn't do it like joke or no i couldn't tell she's like no no i didn't <laughs> it's fine no stress she'll get it done now that she knows she was like good thing you came in because i probably would have forgot i was like okay good but it's fine it's handled no stress it's gonna fit perfect everything she always does fits perfect she just has a lot going on right now like i can't even imagine and it's just her like she doesn't want to hire anyone else because she likes her work so it's like she's just a little just just a grandma doing all the dresses for prom she's like i've had so many fittings today and i'm sure everyone's like i need it by this date i need it by that day i need it by that so she's just probably all mumbo jumbo anyways okay i'm gonna get back on the computer and continue working <laughs> and i honestly i feel like it's gonna be so so easy to be done okay let's go I was thinking like, hmm, what should she Fun fact. It is 8.51 p.m. I'm pooped. I've been trying to get so much editing done, like just as much as I can, and I'm nearing towards the finish line. I'm on the last day of the vlog, so that's a good sign. I got a lot done, but I'm not gonna go crazy. Like, I'm done for the night. I don't need to finish it all tonight because I still have tomorrow morning before we even leave. And then I also have Friday when we get home. The hotel checkout's at 12, so we'll probably be home like 2 ish o'clock 2 30 maybe and then i'll still have a few hours before dinner at like 6 or 6 30 to edit so i'll get it done i'm not like beating myself up or stressing myself out for no reason you guys are crooked and bella's freaking scratching the freaking throat stop <sighs> my god anyways i need to eat i'm gonna go heat up dinner from before so happy we did that that i can just heat up a plate of food right now i'm gonna eat that and then take a shower and then maybe we'll pack in the morning i'm up early i've been getting up at like 6 30 7 anywhere between like 6 30 and 7 30 i'm up so i'll have so much time in the morning before i even have to leave and i don't have to get ready because i'm getting my hair and makeup done so we'll have so much time and i already know what i need to pack because i have my outfit she still hasn't called for the dress so fingers crossed <laughs> I already know what I need to pack. I made a whole entire list, so it really won't take me long, so I can do that tomorrow, if anything. Sleep and rest is more important, so that I'm not 
cranky tomorrow or I don't like look tired, you know? You know what I'm debating actually? I think I'm gonna shower now quick and then eat after so that I can just be done for the night because once I eat, I'm just gonna chill and relax and be lazy. And I don't have to take a crazy shower because I'm not shaving, I'm not exfoliating, nothing. I'm gonna do a quick hair wash, quick body wash. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that because then once I'm out of the shower, I can lotion up and then just eat in bed. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. Mm, tired. <laughs> You're coming home with me. Oh, the window's still open in here. It's freaking cold out. Shut that ish, girl. Okay. <gasps> Hi, my muggies. I turn on the rain for you. <gasps> wow, that's so relaxing. Mommy's gonna take a quick shower. I need to wash this hair. I have to come to the trial tomorrow with it blown out. No products, just like blow dried. So now I'm thinking how I have to do that tonight. Like, should I wash my hair tomorrow? No, we're gonna wash it now. Let's wash it now. Wash it now. Put the sink on for you. Do a quick hair wash. And then I can always touch it up with the blow dryer tomorrow. I've got my food in my book, I'm happy, and I just called uh, the Taylor place and she said in 30 minutes that it can be picked up. So Zine's gonna go get it for me. I'd rather have it tonight than tomorrow and be sure in the morning that it fits because if I need any last minute things, I wanna have time to bring it to her in the morning. <sighs> I'm so glad I showered first. Yay! Uh, <laughs> What'd she say? Huh? Did she say anything? Me? Her. I mean, she was nice. She was yeah. talking to me and stuff. Yeah. Oh. Amazing. Okay. Thank goodness we have secured the dress. I will try it on as soon as I wake up tomorrow and cross our fingers because she's leaving her shop now. So even if there's something wrong, there's nothing she could do. So early morning tomorrow, I'll try it on. Everything she's done for me has fit like a glove. So I'm, I'm really not doubting that. I know it's just busy season. So I think it's going to fit fine. And worst case scenario, it uh, has to be propped up during the pictures. Like, whatever. It's not a big deal. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out with me and prepping for this engagement photo shoot. I think the timing should work out that the next video will be, like, all about the engagement shoot. Like, I'm gonna start a new vlog tomorrow. But I also have some footage from, like, previous days of trying on, unboxing the dress, and all that stuff. So I'm just gonna like compile a bunch of videos. I have like a folder that I've been adding to on my computer. So I think I think the next vlog should be. If not, it'll be the one after that. But actually, you know what? I'll just post the vlog even if we don't have the pictures back. But Monica's usually super quick with giving the photos back. So I think we'll be fine for that. Um, it's gonna be a fun vlog. I have so many things to tell you guys about, talk to you guys about, how we've been planning it, funny stories that have happened. It's gonna be a good one. So I will see you guys then. I'm gonna go blow dry my hair a little bit because A, I'm cold, and B, I don't wanna wake up with a nasty mess. So I'm gonna blow dry it, and tomorrow I'll pack, and then go get my hair and makeup trial for the wedding. Hopefully I love it because that will be a big thing off of the list. That's gonna be really nice. I'm excited to get my hair and makeup done. It's been a minute, and I know I'm gonna feel so good with my tan and everything, and it's gonna be such a fun night out for Zane and I. We've already decided we're gonna go to an Italian place as long as we're still in the mood for that tomorrow. But as of right now, we've been like eating pretty good, you know? And we're so ready to indulge in some good Italian food, bread and butter. I want carbonara so bad. So anyways, I'm blabbing now. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys. <laughs> if someone saw me trying to do this transition right now. <laughs> And then we're gonna add in, whoa, you're getting foggy. He must want some today. Okay, we've got our, hello? Wait!